Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hello, houseplant friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have extremely exciting video because I will share all of the plants I received for this Christmas. And some of them were gifted, some of them were, you know, bought by myself because why not? Treat yourself right <laughs> so there are a lot of different plants some of them are rare and i know i know i said it <laughs> but guys please know that things that are rare for me might be not that rare for you i live in lithuania in eastern europe so everything that is rare for me for you might be as common as a rock and everything that is rare for you for me might be just like a unicorn so please keep in mind that because i will have some extra plants but these extra plants are extra for me and if they are not to you i'm sorry but i'm pretty sure you will enjoy this video and at the end i'll have a bonus footage because yesterday i received a nice box from united states so sandy if you're watching i finally got your box and today i will unbox it so this is how people call it a fan mail i call it a friend mail <laughs> So I will open and see what we got from United States because for me it's a completely different part of the world and it's insane that somebody, you know, just wants to send me something for whatever for whatever reason, but I'm all for it. <laughs> so stay tuned, but for now let's talk about the plants that I received for this Christmas. Let's do it. There is no particular order, just Let's go for it, right? So, first of all, let's start from this beautiful euphorbia that I got in the grocery store a couple days ago, actually this weekend. And I already put it in this terracotta pot that is extremely old. I actually have no idea how old it is because I found it outside, next to the bush. <laughs> so, for those who haven't heard the story, sometimes I rescue plants from the outside when people throw them away. What's up, baby? You want to say hello? Okay. Rocky wanted to say something. Okay, we listen. Yes? Baby, wait! <laughs> ah, thanks. Rocky. Okay, thank you for your word. Anyway, so this is Euphorbe that I got a couple days ago and it's all in blooms, which is really beautiful and exciting. And just like I said, it's in an old terracotta pot that I found outside. I have no idea how old it is, but it's pretty old. It, you can tell, right? So this is really awesome because I love how this hill of plants looks in this old, you know, vintage pot. It's just so earthy. You could not be more natural, right? Made from the earth, which is, you know, terracotta. <laughs> and earth things growing inside. Exciting. have no idea how it's called. Actually, one of you... Let me know in my previous video the name, so I will Google if that's the correct one and I'll let you know, obviously. Please focus, thank you. So this is one of my favorites, actually. Sometimes I surprise myself and instead of loving those, you know, awesome plants that are pretty rare plants, I just fell in love with the simplest plants like this one. And I'm not complaining. Anyway, then let's go to the little bit more special plant, which is from my sister. So in here you can see my beautiful Monstera borsigiana. It's a beautiful variegated Monstera and this is a rooted cutting that I got. And what's it's exciting that it grew a new leaf in my care which is almost half moon and I'm flipping loving it. And right now this tiny baby leaf is pregnant so soon there should be another one which is extremely exciting because guys it's a flippant variegated monstera and it's already wants to give me more growth heck yeah heck yeah so it feels like it's a little bit wonky so i should water it probably but i'm really you know careful with watering this thing because i don't want to overwater it but all in all this is one of my favorite plants in my collection hands down and oh my gosh just look at this beautiful thing I mean, I still cannot believe my sister did it. <laughs> She's insane, but but I love her. Love her. So then let's go to another one, Philodendron subastatum, which is one of my newest plants as well. For now, I put it in this terracotta pot, and you probably noticed already that I'm really a big fan of terracotta. <laughs> it 
just feels right in my interior you know it just feels beautiful and it fits in here in my opinion so for now this one is a cover pot it's still in in the nursery pot i did not want to stress too much this baby because because it's amazing and i want to keep it alive and look at all those aerial roots guys oh my gosh and look at at the underneath oh wow guys oh look at it how you cannot love it here you can see I don't know if you can see but in this pot are three plants which is amazing i got it from my best friend gentress and there is actually a fourth baby coming out which is extremely awesome and the new leaves oh, i think i broke the yep i broke the aerial root oops okay so here is a new leaf that is coming out i was a little bit worried because when i received this plant wait do you see it in full beautifulness so when I received it, it was, we exchanged presents outside with my friend because Corona. I did not want it to open in front of him, but he said, open it. <laughs> so I opened it and I was so, so stoked. So this is a beautiful plant. I'm not sure if this leaf will survive or not, but in any case, I love it. I mean, what an underrated plant, right? Just look how gorgeous it is. Oh, I love it. I love it, guys. Okay, so next we have a plant from my mom. This is a variegated Monstera stendeliana. It has two beautiful, gorgeous variegated leaves. It's a cutting. The third one died off. If you want to hear the funny story, you can find it on my channel when I got it. I actually unboxed it in front of the camera. And it still has no roots, which is worrying me because the edge of it is a little bit yellowing and I am flipping living afraid so guys if any of you had any you know experience with variegated monstera stendiliana tell me what should i do should i cut this yellow part and let it you know heal and then put it in the water once again because i don't really want to lose this plant it's really special for me because it's first plant ever that my mom ordered online and she's not a big you know knower about plants so this is something really really special and i want to keep it alive i mean it's not my first Monstera Stendiliana. One second, please. I have another one over here. And as you can tell, this one is really happy. New leaves are coming one by one. Just look at those newest leaves. How gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And this was also a cutting. So I repotted it in this soil. And it looks awesome. The new growth is coming out from the pot as well. So the new baby this cutting started to grow new leaves in my care so it looks really happy but i'm not sure what's happening with that one the problem might be that it was standing in a postal box outside in the metal postal box while it was freezing cold outside so maybe maybe there is some cold damage but i don't see anything that you know any signs of that so i'm not sure Okay guys, let's go to another really special plant. This is a firefly. Oh my gosh. This is a firefly plant that I received from my boyfriend. He ordered it from United Kingdom and it was in the mail. Well, it was in a truck for a week while it was cold outside. It's winter in Lithuania and in Europe, so it's pretty cold outside, but it still looks good. Look at him. This is firefly plant. Firefly plant and firefly in the room channel. Yup, yup, yup. Just look at this. Oh my gosh. I love how those tiny yellow speckles looks like real fireflies in the night sky, right? Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. And actually, this is not such a common plant in Lithuania at all. I have never ever in my life seen it either online, neither in, you know, local shops. Never, ever. So this is such a lucky find and I'm so happy. And it wasn't expensive. In England, it's only 15, 15 uh, pounds. So it doesn't seem like, you know, very expensive and extreme plant. But in Lithuania, it's something, something different. And I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy to finally have it. It was on my wish list. So I'm excited. Okay, and this one will be the last small plant. So prepare for the last one, which is the biggest one. But this is a beautiful cactus I got myself as well from the grocery store. I have no idea what's happening, but since right now is quarantine in Lithuania and all the, you know, 
uh, local nurseries and plant shops are closed. The grocery stores are now keeping up their game. So I am I'm pretty happy about it. Just look at this gorgeous cacti. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what kind it is. It looks kind of like Echinopsis, but I might be so wrong. It might be Ferrocactus. I still need to Google it. But guys, I just love how fluffy it is. And the spikes, they aren't that tough, you know? They're bending a little bit. So I just love to pet it. And it's weird. Please don't judge me. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, I have no idea how to fit it in the frame, but you already have seen it in my channel. If you're new, prepare. Prepare! Give me one second. Bam! Flipping bam! I'm so afraid. <laughs> okay, this is really dangerous. But just look at this variegated ginger. Oh my gosh. The new growth is popping out, but the bottom leaves are a little bit browning, so I probably need to give more water for this one. But this is such a gorgeous plant. I'm really sorry for the quality right now. It's raining outside, so probably it looks a little bit, you know, it doesn't look really good. But anyway, I hope you still can see how beautiful this plant is. This is your spot. I feel like I just work out. <laughs> worked out. Anyway, so these are all of my plants that I received for Christmas, that I bought for Christmas, and that made me extremely happy during this time. But right now, since one fun part is over, let's go to the second part of this video. I'll bring the box from the hallway. I was waiting for almost whole day. I actually took it out yesterday from my office postal. Uh, box because for people who asks for the address I still don't have a PO, PO box so I give my office address <laughs> so anyway let me bring the box and let's open it let's do it okay and we are back we have the knife we have the box which is over here this is a pretty big box guys I am extremely happy I'm so nervous I really want to open it so so let's just open it let's just open it right right and the second name of the person that sent me this is amazing i mean i don't want to say it but oh my gosh it's amazing <laughs> i would love to have one like this actually if you don't know my second name or my surname it's pretty difficult it's so difficult for lithuanians to pronounce to write especially to spell I always have troubles when I need to have any, you know, I don't know, whenever I need to fill in my name somewhere. It's always a struggle. So my last name is Yemelyanova. I'll give you $10 if you'll pronounce it correctly from the first start, from the first try. <laughs> and my full name is Svetlana Sevastiana Yemelyanova Vyacheslavovna. Let it sink in. <laughs> but we never use the full name, you know, because I'm just Svetlana, so. But if you want to call me the full name, Svetlana, Svetlana Sevastiana Vyacheslav... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see, it's even difficult for me. Svetlana Sevastiana Emilianova Vyacheslavovna. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here are some documents. All right. Oh, we are starting with a beautiful card note. One second. Okay, okay, so this is amazing. And Sandy says, I'm sorry I did not have a, a, a pretty paper. Guys, look at it. It's pretty. <laughs> I wonder what city that is. Maybe some of you are familiar. Oh my gosh, this is really awesome. I will definitely save this card and put it in my bullet journal because this is really special and I, there is a list of things that I will get and I'm already freaking out. So, okay. First of all, perfect start for the unboxing is obviously a snack. <laughs> So this is a sky bar with four different flavors. Oh my gosh. What are these flavors? Are any of you familiar with these snacks? Oh my gosh. I have never ever seen such things. So 
Okay, let's just let's try at least one, right? Because we need to. It smells good. Oh, okay. Probably should shouldn't be licking things after unboxing box that other people was touching, but oh, oh wow. Okay, I got the brown one and oh wow, coffee break is on the way. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Rock it. What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Flowers. Oh my gosh, enjoy it. People don't see. Come here. Dig. Rocky says big thank you. Right? Yes? Thank you so much, Sandy. He loves balls. <laughs> you can tell. Oh my God! Just look at this. This probably wasn't the smart idea because right now you will hear the squeaking throughout this video. <laughs> he loved it. He really loved it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we have a makeup bag. Which is really shiny, like unicorn. Okay, that really was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, but my boy is happy, so please ignore it. this. <gasps> what is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, please don't be mad, but we will need to try everything out. I'm hungry, I did not have a lunch, so... <laughs> I'm all for it. it. Smells like coffee. Oh my gosh, what is this? Coffee flavored pastels. Oh my gosh. I won't say anything and you please don't say anything. <laughs> like six of them and I already got them all so we're good <laughs> he's just laying and squeaking it just like... he loves it anyway this smells amazing it's delicious oh my god mints that are flavored of coffee oh my god so let's get back to this cosmetic <gasps> oh my gosh no way oh my gosh oh my gosh it's rocky <laughs> i'm going to cry guys rocky stop guys this is rocky Shh. This is a Rocky! Oh my gosh, this is so special! You have no idea how many times I was looking for souvenirs in shape of a German Shepherd. It's so difficult to find them here, so... Oh my gosh! This is so special, thank you so much! Whenever the quarantine is over and I will need to go work in my office, I will obviously bring it and put it on my desk. And I will hold it near my near me whenever I'll be missing my boy. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Sandy. I'm getting emotional. Oh my gosh, I love it. That would be already enough. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Just look at this box. Oh, okay. What is that? Lip color primer 
Rouge Intense Base Plum Pop. What? Just like I said in the beginning of this video, the things that are pretty common for you, for me, might be like unicorns. But this looks like... Jesus, babies. This looks like a very nice lipstick. Look at this color, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just wait. And next video, I will be obviously wearing this one. Because I love such colors. Not too pink. A little bit, you know, to, in the darker side. My wipe. Completely my wipe. Oh, and we have a couple hair clips. <gasps> this one, very artsy ones. I love it. This one actually immediately reminds me of a vest that my mom knitted me a couple weeks ago. So it will work perfectly with that outfit. And this one, actually, I told it would work perfect in this outfit, right? Thank you so much. This is amazing. This is amazing. I still have a couple questions regarding this, but let's... Oh, okay, we have... Stop laughing. Next. Okay, we'll get back to this one. Okay, there is something pretty big. Which... Oh, okay, now I get it. This is the box. And this is this thing. I actually was looking for this in Lithuania and never ever found it. And this is a lifesaver. Oh my gosh, Sandy! You are amazing! This is for watering your succulents or for example fairy gardens that I have a bunch of. So whenever when I water with simple bottle from water, I just spill the pebbles everywhere, I spill the soil everywhere and it's always a mess and I always argue about it with my boyfriend. But this one, thank you so much, oh my gosh, this package all of the filled with love, with a lot of love and so many awesome things, awesome! Awesome! Oh, I think this goes in here, right? <laughs> I love how long it is! <clears throat> Don't be naughty with your minds, okay? So this is a watering can. I love that it's green. I have full instructions inside, so I'll look at it a little bit later. But I already know that this is the things that I really needed and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, next. Next we have something heavier. Oh yes. <laughs> this is what every plant parent needs. A beautiful terracotta plate but glazed. Oh my gosh. This is... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sandy, you probably have a lot of plants because you really know what to gift a plant lover <laughs> okay okay we have another paper oh yes heck to the yes <laughs> okay another one what is that probably hang it like this and it looks like a vintage you know thing to put on my awesome gallery wall this looks so weird and i love it i'm actually i'm really confused what what the heck is that but i'm loving it i love the fact that i have no idea what that is <laughs> but it looks like there is a hole to put on the Nail? Nailed it. <laughs> huh? Huh? So, this looks awesome. I'll play around with the leaves to make, you know, the best shape. And oh my gosh, this will definitely go to the my gallery wall. Amazing! 
there is a little bit quietness in here because I was so confused. <laughs> Love it. I still have the pasta, by the way. <laughs> still eating it. Still good. Okay. Okay. It's not the end, guys. Are you kidding me? More things to my gallery wall. Just look at this. It looks like a sparrow. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. I love secondhand things. I'm not telling that this is secondhand, but this looks so vintage and I'm so into that. Oh my gosh. This is such a beautiful, it looks really handmade. And I'm wondering what is the background of this? Sandy, I will definitely write you a couple questions. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh. <laughs> so I got some charcoal, which is amazing. Once again, heck yeah. I am making a lot of terrariums and fair gardens and I never... Oh my gosh, my hands are black already. <laughs> And I never cannot find a charcoal without, you know, buying, for example, an orchid mix, right? Which is pretty expensive in here. So this is a lifesaver. It looks like I'm holding some drugs <laughs> in the bag from United States. So <laughs> then we have, oh, yes. <laughs> I never thought that I will be so excited for a poop. But I got some worm castings. I actually never, ever worked before with this thing. So, obviously, while I will do reporting for some extra special plants, I will use this 100%, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's not it. Then we have some orchid bags. Yes, because it's never enough, guys. And I love the Ziploc bags. I actually will try to reuse them because they look pretty tough. So, I might keep my soil in here or, you know, whatever. But thank you so much. Yes, 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 yes. And that is, I think this is to keep the package safe. I don't think that this is a part of a present, <laughs> but let, you know, let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> this is interesting. It says Bully Boy Distillers Boston. I will Google what the heck is that, but I love such things. Oh my gosh. I immediately am trying to imagine where I will stick those stickers. <laughs> I'm a big sticker lover, guys. I'm a big sticker lover. Okay, and that is it for this box. Oh my flipping gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I'm a little bit um, too long on my lunch break, first of all. And I will regret this, but oh wow. Oh wow. <sighs> guys. <clears throat> Whenever you send me something, you never disappoint, never ever. And this, this is one of the best packages. I'm not going to lie. Snacks on point, souvenirs on point, even some. Rocky is sleeping. <laughs> some awesome toys for Rocky, which is you know the best part because whenever you get a present for your kid, you're extremely happy, right? Moms will understand, even the bad moms. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sandy. This is amazing. I already am trying to figure out where I will put all of this stuff. And oh my gosh, things like this. Like, oh my gosh, I just want to cuddle it, even though my real dog is over there. But Thank you so much. I'm extremely happy now. It feels like the most amazing Christmas ever. Even though I did not have the best time, I'm not going to lie this christmas but oh my gosh this is this is amazing this is special and i thank you so so much and thank you for every single one of you for watching because i just i just really care whenever i see more numbers because i understand that more people saw my videos and maybe more people can relate to me because sometimes i really feel lonely and not going to lie all of your comments all of your likes and views makes my heart bounce a little bit faster <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching that's where i will leave you this is already a pretty long video and i'm really sorry about it but you can't but you can blame sandy because she did an amazing job packing these things and she packed a lot of stuff so well, not my fault <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content 
don't forget to comment which thing of all of the package was your favorite which plant was your favorite maybe you just want to share something with me let's just talk a little bit in the comments don't forget to subscribe and like and i don't even remember what i said before because i just looked at it and oh my gosh <laughs> thank you until the next time bye